Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about Localizer. I'm gonna walk you through how you can create a whole body imaging localizer, spine imaging localizer, fast and efficient. Stick around and I'll show you. Thanks for tuning in on my channel, guys. For those who are new, my name is back again. I'm an MRI radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials, troubleshooting just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. The reason for making this video is because I've been asking from several persons how you can create a localizer which is fast and efficient covering the whole body or the spine imaging from the scratch. So today I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can just take a cement sequence and you can create one fast and efficient. Enough talking for me, let's go to the scanner and I will show you. All right, we are currently at 1.5 touch length, but this doesn't matter. You can do this at any field strength. It's the same principle. So we're going to do a whole body imaging localizer from the head to the hip or just like for spine. So what I'm doing here now is I'm going to go to the Siemens tree and find a localizer for the C-spine just to have an overview as a first sequence so I can show you from this basic. And then I will go to abdominal. Uh, a protocol and go for a T2 haste because I want to use haste as a localizer. I find this fast and efficient and also give me a good contrast so I can get a good overview. So also, also remember that a good localizer is always important. So I'm just going to do a coronal, write this one, take it from that, rename it to just localizer. So in this one I have a plan to do both coronal, sagittal and transversion just in one localizer not separately, but in one. So you can see there's a manual voice in there, but that's correct because this is from abdominal protocol, which is a lot of breath for, right? So whatever you do, right click, go to voice commands and just turn no voice. And then, okay, it will disappear because we want it to run free breathing and run automatically, right? So this is a flash-based uh, localizer from the cervical spine. I just want to have this as an overview so I can show you the basic of everything. So just zoom out a little bit here so we can open this one. And um, let's check. We're going to have a little bit bigger field of view, 450 millimeter. And I will put the TR to the low as possible. I still will have a good T2 contrast because it's a haze, right? So it's not every other sequence. So it's a haze, so you can have a low TR. So I will save time already there. And one concatenation, so it won't stop in the middle of the scanning, so it will run as one because it's not multi breathful. And I don't need 30 slices in coronal plane, I just need a fast overview, and I just want to turn off the, the, the green shim like that. Now let's place this one. I think 15 slices is enough, 15 or 16. And then I add that on a slice group right here. So this one I will make in transversal. Add a little bit slices here. Also distance factor. I just want to cover a little bit more. Also distance factor 50 here for the corn. And we are missing one, uh, uh, one plane, which is sagittal. So we're going to create a sagittal right here now. Add a little bit slices and distance factor as well here like that. Okay, here comes the fun part. So we are finished with one station and we want to have multiple steps. So it will stitch together and give us a great overview, right? So you go into team planning and then we can set and go protocol. And you can see here it's now orange. It's not wrong because it is wrong, of course. You cannot run like this. It's, uh, it's okay like that, but we have to do one adjustment to make it yellow. You can see the transversal right up in there. We're gonna drag it down. So it will fit in that specific field of view. So now it's yellow, it will work. And we'll put on the inline composing. So it will automatically compose for us whenever the sequence is finished. So let's try to start this one. It takes uh, 22 seconds. And of course, you will have a sorry issue because you went from uh, 1,400 TR to the minimum, which is in this case 457, you get sorry issues. That's one more step I want to do. Just open protocol. 
So to avoid this SAR every time, you just go in here and put 19 degrees. It's more than enough, you get a good contrast, you will, there won't be any problem. So as you notice there, I went from the top step one, change to 90, and now I go to step two. So you have to do it on each step. Change that on each step. Now you go. So let's try to run that one. So no SAR issues and it's running. First step is finished now. It's nice, great overview, it's fast, and it uh, gives exactly what I need. And you can see, uh, let's stop there. The black line right there is because you get a cross excitation, a cross talk, you know. It's because the TR is so low, so we get a, uh, the excitation pulse is extremely fast. But it doesn't matter, it's just a localizer, right? So it doesn't affect whatever you need to see. So it's finished now, and it's already stitched together. So we get a fast localized for spine imaging or whole body imaging. So if you want to have more steps uh, for like whole body imaging, you just add on steps. So this was just two steps, uh, automatically in line composing. You want three or four steps, just do the same. It's the same principle. You get a good overview. So whatever you do now, we're going to save this sequence. And uh, I'm going to go inside the scanner and I'm going to do position again. And let's see how it works. So I just did a new position on this patient, and I am now positioned on the neck again. Let's just say that we change the patient, right? Just to see if the localizer is running. Just gonna clear all that, and we're gonna drag over. And I also noticed one thing. You can see the sequence demands, uh, you have to apply for the sequence, but we don't want that. We want to drag over and it will start automatically. So to get rid of this, we can uh, right click, edit properties, execution, and then start measurements without further preparation. You don't need more preparation. You drag and drop, you want it to run. And then okay. We're just gonna delete that one and we're gonna drag it over. And it will run automatically, just as what we want to uh, localize it to be. And let's run that one and see if it works. So first step is finished now. We're just gonna continue. I just want to show you one thing. So we are in the first step right now, and I'm gonna show you the position. You see the table position is F2. So if you want to have it perfectly, you want to have it zero. So that means that whenever you position the ISO center, the red light inside the scanner, it will start right there. So this means I save it F2 millimeter. That means that it will uh, go towards the feet two millimeters. So I wish I had zero, but I didn't notice that when I made this video. So zero on the first step is perfect. So let's check number two. You see it moved down around almost 400 millimeter towards the feet, so it's stitched together. It's very robust, it works, and uh, as long as the patient is lying inside the scanner, in the middle of the scanner, this will work perfectly. That's how you do it. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. What kind of localizer do you use? I mean, what kind of sequence? A haze or gradient? Please let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell so we get a ding ding whenever the things we are coming up. I will catch up with you in my next video. Bye bye.